How to stop being passive-aggressive. The term, passive-aggressive, first came into use after World War II when it was used to describe soldiers displaying subtle resistance to authority. Passive-aggressive behavior indirectly resists authority or indirectly shows resentment towards an individual. Someone who is passive-aggressive typically seeks to avoid conflict. Subversive passive-aggressive behavior can go unnoticed as you mask underlying frustrations with superficial courtesies. Eventually, your anger will emerge when events reach a volatile stage. If you understand and reform your passive-aggressive tendencies, you will be able to make positive strides towards nurturing a healthier, happier career and social life. Identifying your passive aggression. Start a behavior journal. Journaling is a useful means of identifying, evaluating, and correcting your own behavior. Your journal can help you determine triggers for your behavior and allows you a safe place to be honest about your own reactions and how you would like to act differently in the future. Identify incidents in which you acted passive-aggressively. You may become overwhelmed if you start listing every time you have ever shown passive-aggressive behavior. Instead, identify three or four episodes when you realized you were passive-aggressive. One place that you may have acted passive-aggressively is in the workplace. There are four specific behaviors that are common to passive-aggressive habits at work. Temporary compliance, intentional inefficiency, letting a problem escalate, and hidden but conscious revenge. As you are working on identifying your own passive-aggressive behaviors, a really good and important place to start identifying patterns is in your professional life at work. Record information about what happened. It is important to identify and eliminate faulty patterns of thought that were developed early in life. To eliminate these thought processes, first identify when and how they are occurring. Look back and try to recall specific details about your behavior. It can be helpful to view the circumstances as a third-party observer would, being as objective as possible. If you start feeling emotional, take a deep breath and clear your thoughts before continuing. Don't deflect your own role in what happened. The purpose here is to examine the circumstances and motivations that bring out your passive-aggressive actions. Consider the following questions. Who were the other parties involved? What were their relationships to you for example? Boss, coworker, friend, parent, roommate, teacher. Did they have authority over you? Were they your peers? Did you have a decision-making role? Where did it happen? For example, at work, home, school, a party, a game, or a club. When did this occur? Sometimes the timing is a factor, such as the beginning of a school year or during the busy holiday season. How did the incident unfold? Was there a specific trigger or a series of events involved? What was the sequence of actions and responses? What happened in the end? Were the results what you set out to achieve with your negative behavior? What were the reactions of others? Examine what your passive-aggressive reactions were during these incidents. Generally, this behavior manifests as deliberate contradictions between what you say passive and what you actually do aggressive. The following are common manifestations of passive-aggressive behavior, offering public support but indirectly resisting, procrastinating or undermining the successful completion of social and occupational tasks agreeing to do something and not following through or pretending to forget giving someone the silent treatment but not letting the person know why pleasing people publicly but demeaning them behind their backs lacking the assertiveness to express feelings and desires but expecting others to know what they are overlaying positive comments with pointed sarcasm or negative body language complaining of being misunderstood and unappreciated by others being sullen and argumentative without offering constructive Constructive ideas blaming others for everything while avoiding responsibility unreasonably criticizing and scorning authority to your peers responding to unwelcome authority with covert, dishonest actions repressing emotions in fear of conflict, failure or disappointment expressing envy and resentment toward those apparently more fortunate voicing exaggerated and persistent complaints of personal misfortune alternating between hostile defiance and contrition predicting negative outcomes before even starting the work. Look for patterns in your behavior. In reviewing your past actions, did you see yourself repeating the way you responded to certain situations or people? Were the outcomes similar? Did other people react to you in the same way? Did you feel better or worse in the end? Think about how these patterns may not be serving you well. Accept your emotions. Denying what you truly feel is part of the problem with passive-aggressive tendencies. You don't want others to know that you are angry, hurt, or resentful, so you act as if you aren't. Your feelings only intensify and become more irrational because you haven't provided yourself a healthier outlet for them. 
Therefore, it is important to allow yourself to feel and acknowledge your emotions so that you can deal with them in a healthier way. Build your self-awareness. This is where you need to be honest with yourself to understand the underlying reasons you have these negative feelings. Was it something your coworker said? Did you feel pressured into doing something you didn't want to do? Were you not recognized by your manager for your contribution to the last project? Did your friend get a better grade than you thought she deserved? Look below the surface and figure out what you really want.